Um, the, um, the, every level you look at practically uh, is uh, a promoting effect. Uh, there are a few uh, positive effects of endotoxin. Our, our long uh, exposure to, to these toxins uh, will build up certain defenses, but uh, beyond that very basic kind of immunity, uh, which includes things like uh, HDL cholesterol, mm -hmm. uh, the, the uh, lipoproteins are uh, defenses against uh, the endotoxins largely, uh, so that that's one of the defensive effects of high cholesterol. Okay. And uh, the uh, reactions uh, beyond that very simple level of, of defense are all pro-inflammatory, uh, tend to stimulate uh, oh, development of, of uh, fibrosis as a, a, a sign of uh, deteriorating tissue function, uh, and fibrosis and atrophy uh, make the uh, the tumor uh, harder to get at and uh, uh, more autonomous. Uh, the the atrophy effect uh, is something that uh, estrogen participates in mm. in um, in many ways. Uh, the the medical establishment has convinced the public that estrogen uh, has some anabolic protective effects, especially um, for the bone preventing osteoporosis, but um, the overall effect of um, the um, inflammation produced by endotoxin uh, creates a systemic age-like uh, atrophy of all of the tissues. Osteoporosis, for example, is extremely uh, sensitive to um, endotoxin. Endotoxin activates all of the factors that stop the bone replacement and uh, accelerate its decomposition. And it, it's those uh, atrophic processes that uh, weaken the immune system's ability to remove a cancer once it starts. Um, so atrophy and tumor formation are really are very closely connected, and endotoxin is is pushing on both of those in an unfavorable way. Mm.